register the domain name, we purchased hosting, we connected the hosting with the domain name, we loaded up the site via FTP using FileZilla, and then we created a simple hello world type file and uploaded it to our website using FTP. And so far, we were able to basically create a website from zero to something that the entire world can see in just a few minutes. Now, let's get to the good stuff. How do you now create an actual website and place it on our domain name? So that creating a, an actual website and placing it on a domain name is not a very complicated uh, task. When I create a marketing funnel, basically I try to start as a marketer, what I want when someone comes directly to my site is the very first thing I want to try to get from them is their email address. So I basically create what is known as a squeeze page and that's basically a landing page that's designed for one goal and that's to get someone's email address. So I design a, a, a squeeze page for that purpose. So in, in right now that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now to save time I never create a squeeze page from scratch. I basically download one of my um, I just go into my archives and grab one of my templates that basically has most of this done for me. So in this case I've attached um, I've included a couple of my templates into the resources section in my coaching program. So basically when you get the coaching program and you log in in the resources section you can download a squeeze page that's actually been proven to do extremely well. So once you download it you can basically using FTP shuttle it over to your website. So I'm going to quickly do that and then we're going to dive into actually making edits to the squeeze page so that it's custom to um, the business that we're creating. So once you download it it's going to be obviously if you download it to your to your um, if you download it to your desktop, it's going to be on your desktop. Now, when creating websites, I like to create a local copy of my website, um, which is basically a clone of the actual website online. So in this case, I created a folder on my desktop called 3 Days to Cash System. And if I open up that folder, I have the rudimentary elements to what I want my website to look like. So I have my hello.html and this is the file that I downloaded from my coaching program. So once you click that and you extract it, it will download into and I download it into this folder. So obviously, if you remember from the previous video, um, once I connect into my website, it basically takes me to this and I want to navigate to the public HTML folder which represents all of the files on my website. So if I were to open up my folder that I created, I can shuttle over the new template over to my website. So if I go to my website now in Safari and I type in the, this name, I will get I will see that file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and type in template template1.html and this is basically when people type in 3 days to cash system this is what I want them to see and I'm going to actually make edits to that. So if you remember from the last video any name any file that's named index.html does no longer has to be typed in um, in order to get access to it. So let me just quickly show you that. We'll go ahead and delete this one and we will rename the template to index.html. So if I type in index.html, obviously it'll show the same thing, but if I remove index.html and just type in 3 days system.com, it'll automatically locate a file called index.html. So in theory, it will, it will show the same thing. So right now, anyone in the world that types this URL is going to see this page. So our job now is to edit this page and um, edit this page so that it actually makes sense to our business. So what I did is I made some notes in Microsoft Word and I sent it over to myself via email. And I'm basically going to replace this information with um, some c copy that I got written for me. 
Okay, so the website editor of choice, I love Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver makes website editing very simple. It is kind of on the expensive side, so you might need to find a cheaper one. But in theory, the principle is basically the same. It allows you to edit web pages the same way you would edit a document in Microsoft Word. So I open up Dreamweaver, and I just simply navigate to the folder I created, Three Days to Cash System. So I, like I said, I like to keep a clone of my website on my local machine. So remember, on the website, I renamed template one to index. So let's go ahead and rename that to index so that we're keeping the files, file names the same. This is optional, but it's what I like to do. So in Dreamweaver, I'll double click on index. And now, just like Microsoft Word, I can edit this template. So I'm basically going to go back into here and copy and paste some of the copy that I got written. Okay, so it's really that simple. Um, and then I'll say, okay, so as you can see, I have created my squeeze page um, by just replacing the text um, with the, replacing the text that existed with the text I had written for me. And now I want to upload this to my website. So to do that, now that I've saved it, I just, I just saved it. So now I just need to repeat the process of moving the file from this folder to my website. So I can just drag in index.html. And I want to overwrite what's there. And so now if I go into my website and refresh the page, and here we go. Now this is crude, it's, it's basic, but it does the job. Now notice there is no, um, simply fill out the form, there is no form. And basically I'm going to just take code that I get from my email provider, which is Aweber, and I'm pretty much going to just paste it in there and that's going to allow me to collect email addresses and then have them send me to another page which is going to be my sales letter for this which is pretty much the exact which is pretty much going to use a similar template that allows me to type out my sales letter